first i apologize because of my voice i'm a little bit sick so bear with me thank you let me start from the beginning i myself am a village boy from north of iran in middle east i was living in a very small village with maybe 100 or 200 people and as you may know when you live in a small village not a lot is actually happening i started working very young going to a school and going back home that was my life work school home i never had a chance to grow up and learn about different cultures and religions in any type of media never read about them never watched movies or played video games to see how the other side of the history actually was and is i never actually thought about it because simply i wasn't even aware of it the fact that i was sort of isolated made me a very curious man when I was in the middle of my teen era, I started reading and finding different stuff, whatever that I could, to raise my knowledge about different stuff, different fields of knowledge, about different religions, especially religions, which led me to read more about different periods of the history. Long story short, I'm a man now, I'm an adult. I live in Germany for many years now, and hey, I know it's a very long way from a small village from north of Iran. Sometimes when I think about it, I can still not actually grasp the reality of it i don't believe it myself i came a long way and obviously as you know right now i'm a gamer too and i do play many and i mean many many games maybe because of my curious nature i like to try different genre of games now and this game kingdom come deliverance was always on my list to play for years but never tried it actually and there is a reason for it I had a friend which is in love with medieval stuff and I remember one time we were talking about games in Discord Kingdom Come came up and he said I love to try it this is a quote from him he said I love to try it but it's a first person and the nature of the game is kind of realistic so it has so much bouncing and camera shake he meant especially while you're riding your horse it makes me sick like motion sickness he said that and it got stuck in my head so I never tried it and funny enough never even watched anything of it on YouTube either. Completely forgot about it. Many years passed, life was getting hard, it still is actually. I had so much family problems, mother being sick, recently lost a friend to a car accident which broke my back actually. I never fully healed and recovered from it. So much, so much stuff happened all at once and I was in a really dark place. I still kinda am. Breathing. Breathing was getting hard for me i swear to god it can be the sunniest day of days and i cannot feel the warmth and the light of the sun on my face and then at that time seemed the lord wanted me to play this game because one week before any news or announcement about kingdom come deliverance 2 the same friend started playing the first one and he shared his screen over on discord for us to watch he was streaming it for us and as soon as I saw his walking around at night holding a torch and it looked so real, I closed the stream immediately and I said if he can't play it now and has no problem getting motion sickness as he said he would, then I can do it as well. Not to mention every 5 minutes he was like, oh my god, I should have played this sooner. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god, that is awesome. So I bought the game with all the DLCs and I started playing. And 20 minutes in and my jaw was literally on my table. And it was my turn kinda to say oh my god every 5 minutes. Dude, the graphics. For a game that came out 6 years ago, 2018, it looks beautiful. So much detail. From the mod you are working on, environment design, houses and clothing and the armor sets the details of all of them i can talk about all this stuff for days and i still have so much more to say the game feels alive the people in village and town are busy walking around to do their jobs carrying water buckets they have shop stands trying to sell stuff guard walking around patrolling dude seriously at night if you don't have your torch out while you're walking in a town or something a guard could come to you walk up to you and warn you that hey why you don't have your torch out where is your torch it's like you should not walk around without your torch obviously for the security reason at that time at that age the story is engaging all the time and they did such a fantastic job with the story that when i say engaging i don't mean fighting with swords all the time no it creates an atmosphere that you feel you are the main character you are 100 percent immersed so sometimes the game asks you to do a simple stuff like feeding chickens and you don't feel cheap while doing it. 
you truly see and experience both sides of that time's society, both noble and peasant life. You see how they talk to each other, noble to noble, peasant to peasant, noble to peasant and vice versa. I mean seriously, you can do nothing in a game and just walk around or ride your horse and roleplay your ass off for hours. The game is beautiful, so you can't get tired of it, honestly. The only other game could give me that feeling of just walking around and enjoying myself was Red Dead Redemption 2. So as you might guess it now, I was lost in the world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I was totally disconnected from my own life and the pain that I had in my life. I could smile seeing the cute and realistic romantic interaction between Henry the main character and Theresa the girl he loves. By the way, I have to mention it's so hard to write a romantic relationship for video game and don't make it cringe and somehow they nailed it. Their interaction in their relationship is so real and makes sense. The thing that they say to each other, it's amazing. The writers did such a fantastic job. So yeah, that's how Kingdom Come Deliverance saved me from my own depression because I was in a really dark place and it became a perfect escape for me. The game is that immersive. I still after finishing the game can just open it and walk around and think about nothing else. I speak three languages guys, those being Persian, English and obviously German because I do live in Germany and they have thousands of rich history behind them and yet I cannot express how good this game actually is and how good it made me feel. Since I started playing different video games, I played so many medieval games and watched and read many stuff, but nothing even came close to what Kingdom Come gave me. The best medicine for me at least. And I highly recommend and suggest the game for you to also try it. You will enjoy it no matter what. It has something for any type of gamer, trust me. I mean it had such an effect on me, I wrote a review for the game on Steam and apparently it was so moving that my Steam friends went crazy and bought the game, one after another. And so many people added me on Steam and said, we wanted to buy the game and didn't know if it was good or not and should we buy it or not. We saw your review, it was on top and like immediately bought the game. Anyway, sorry I talked too much. <laughs> I just wanted to share this here with you guys. I hope it was at least entertaining or helpful in any shape or form. And that's it for this video. If you did find it entertaining or helpful, make sure to give it a like. It will help me a lot guys with the algorithm in YouTube. Subscribe for more gaming related content. Comment your thoughts and experiences with Kingdom Come Deliverance down below in the comment section. I would love to read them. Watch this video right here and don't forget that I love you guys. Keep gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Team on out.